We have become clearer that we've passed a tipping point for the dieback of uh, perhaps the majority of tropical coral reefs. We've seen um, an unprecedented coral bleaching event hit 80% of the world's low latitude reefs. So that kind of confirmed our or, or our collective deduction that the that the tipping point, the sort of temperature tipping point for corals was at, is, was probably below 1.5 degrees C. What happens with coral bleaching is that this symbiosis, this relationship between the animal and the algae becomes disrupted. So um, the algae no longer stays within the tissues of the coral, um, leaving it without its color, um, leaving it weaker and vulnerable because it doesn't receive the, um, the nutrients and the food sources that the algae provides for, for the coral. This increase in heat um, has been exponential and it's very high and the reefs are just um, not able to recover. So coral reefs are found throughout tropical oceans. Um, we always think of the Great Barrier Reef as one of the largest um, reef systems and, and it is, but we have reefs in many different parts of the world, um, in the Pacific Ocean, um, in the Indo-Pacific is where the reefs actually uh, started. So that's the um, hot spot of biodiversity. And once we get to the Caribbean, we have less species, but we have still thriving um, ecosystems. <laughs> What would I like to see in COP um, 30 this year? Well, we need stronger regulations for reducing um, greenhouse emissions. We definitely uh, need this and we need the commitments from um, the countries. The countries that are most affected, like the small island states, um, are all on board, um, but we need the um, the larger countries that produce um, a lot of these greenhouse um, emissions to also um, support and create policies to lessen their um, their impact, uh, because it's all going to not just impact reefs and ecosystems. It's it's an impact to to the whole population. <laughs> So there are different strategies that are occurring um, for the protection um, and the reproduction of, of reefs. So there's new technology called assisted evolution um, and super reefs, basically, or super corals. Um, and it's basically helping um, 
corals in a lab and changing genes so that they can be more more tolerant to to heat stress so this is all still very um, um there's a lot of controversy um over this because it's sort of like genetically uh, modifying corals This is the overall trend for the last 25 years. The more science we've done to assess uh, climate tipping point risks, the bigger those risks look to be in the sense that the temperature at which we think the tipping points could be crossed uh, keeps getting brought down as we push the temperature up. And as we study what the impacts would be more, we uncover more um, reasons for concern, to put it politely.